once you have an idea of that and the gut health, now you're starting to build a picture and we add in food sensitivities. Now we look at IgG food sensitivities, which is not a blood spot, uh, not a blood spot test like Everly well, but it is a blood draw. So the blood draw that we do using an LCAT 250 looks at about 250 foods. And the point of it is you're trying to see are there other triggers. I have a lot of patients who have mast cell activation syndrome or just have higher amounts of histamine to deal with. And so we want to identify what triggers them and then try to help them by giving them um, their, that's a tool that they can use when they go to the store or when they're eating out that helps them avoid certain things that may trigger them. Um, we look at metabolomics. So, all right, what is metabolomics? Think of it like each uh, cellular process creates a chemical uh, reaction. There's different products in the reaction. Many of those products can be measured in the blood, like glutathione levels, palmitic acid levels. And so these can be used to assess um, and develop an inflammation score. Everybody, you know, asks me, like, why is there C-reactive protein or CRP, quote unquote, normal, but they don't feel well? So that's a really nonspecific uh, test that's been around, excuse me, been around for a long period of time. What I'm interested in is how you detox, what are your toxin exposures, what are these um, acid levels in the blood, and then finally, like what is the hormone balance? Just yesterday I had a patient come in and say, a uh, female patient, they were losing tons of hair and um, they didn't understand why, and they were talking about their difficulty with both sleep and stress levels. Uh, really difficulty uh, with their diet. Sometimes they drink uh, just a simple you know, fluid like water and they have trouble with bloating or swelling or pain. So when we have imbalances in our gut, like we described between parasites, bacteria, and fungi, and we have problems with detox capability and a lot of exposures, add in a few triggers with food, you can see how the picture gets very very murky very quickly for these patients.